Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. And we'll see if we can get Ebony healed by getting the apothecary put together here first thing. But, um, and healed, I, I say, because I don't know what's actually wrong with her. <laughs> it doesn't seem to, to say there is anything. Anyway, there's so much to talk about before we get going, but I've gone through the whole map to make sure that everything seems to be working right so I can walk away and not worry about uh, having to be there except that we are out of power I'm gonna set both wheels to nines on each side just to make sure that we get these batteries topped off that's the only thing that can really go wrong we've got a little bit of algae but without power it, it means nothing anyway <clears throat> I went through and erased all the plans for this area because even if we do go back and, and do that again, it's going to be a long time before we're going to be ready to do it. So I'm not going to go any further there. And I went through and erased everything we did here yesterday, too, or last time. Because after I designed it all, then I spent a bit, a bit of time afterwards kind of fine-tuning it, getting it just right. I got to thinking, what's it going to take to pump that oxygen up to the bedrooms? I mean, it's, it's a long pathway to work our way over to finally get up into here and the idea was just to take a big void and make something out of it well we've kind of got a big void forming up over here too and when it's done it goes right into the bedrooms much easier pathway so I think we're going to build the same thing right here that'll be the smallest most compact one of these I've ever designed be curious to see the pros and cons of that. <clears throat> One thing that can go wrong is it can build up too much pressure and nothing will work because it'll all say it's overpressurized. So what I've done is I've vented the bottom. Any liquids pop into here somehow, they can run right out. And if we get too much pressure in here, it can run right out. And at worst, it's going to be oxygen leaving and it's going to put oxygen down below here and nothing could be wrong about that in fact there already is a lot of oxygen down here um although it's polluted oxygen this guy here is going to convert it over to regular oxygen and we've got 1500 grams of of uh, pressure in here 13 12 14 15 a little lower down 15 at the door uh, 600 there, 1,500 here. So, yeah, we've got to make sure that these guys are always at, I would say this one at the very highest priority. These can, we can roll the dice on these not. And, so, excuse me, okay, I'll, I'll give you some privacy. Um, I've just gone through and reprioritized all kinds of things, so I'm going to, it's going to take them a day, well, the next day, to go through and catch up on it all. But, We've got this going on up here, which is basically the same thing we, we saw in the purple area, the, you know, where the hydrogen was way over to the right, and to the in the green area down below it. Kind of the same concept. One gas pump that sucks the hydrogen off the top, either sends it down to a couple of hydrogen generators, or dumps the oxygen next to this guy, which then pulls it out and sends it out of here to the base. And if it's not oxygen, it pumps it back up to this guy and just keeps his loop going. The oxygen and hydrogen are created right here. Only I've added something. I've added the power transformer. So we can run low voltage, low wattage to, for all the equipment that's in here. And then high wattage is going to come out of all the power sources. So out of these guys, down. Out of these guys, down. And down into here, into probably... The plan is a couple of these guys, which drip polluted water, to drip down from this area into a bank of batteries. And I was going to design all this, but I'm out of metal. What have I got? I've got, well, I've got 2,000 now. We must have found some copper just recently because I was setting up some things down below and all these went, all these grayed out. So I must have, I've, queued up a lot of metal to be dug up so I must have just gotten to it while uh, while I've been talking but I want to try something like three batteries and a floor and at one end it's going to drain 
to another floor with two batteries and run across, block off every other end. I'm going to do four levels of this. So it'll, it'll flow through the batteries, which will cool them, and then drop and cool and drop and cool and drop and cool, and eventually drop down and land at the bottom which is where it's all going to come from. So we've still got to build this system. Alexander, what are you doing? <sighs> what you doing over there? All right, we got to get this guy built. I want him to get rid of some ladders. <laughs> Apparently, this didn't get queued up. Okay, how you doing? You are... Bed is beyond reach. You got dirty hands, you're grimy, you're sore back, you slept on the floor, right? Why did you sleep on the floor last night? Don't you have a bedroom? It should only be Mountain Doofer that doesn't have a bedroom. And speaking of, I got it right from him. Mountain Doofer, that's what he wants to be called. Doofer as in goofer. So Mountain Doofer, there you are. Anyway, Alexander, what are you doing there and how are we going to fix you? Um, to be honest, I could just delete these and he'll just drop down and climb up and he'll be gone. If I wait for that to be built, well, these are queued up and all kinds of other things are queued up. It's not going to happen. So let's deconstruct both of you. I know someone who's just in the perfect spot to get to work on that. The question is, are they smart enough not to do the one they're standing on? Nope, apparently not. Whoop! And you are rescued. All right. You are a deconstruct. <clears throat> uh, okay, we'll do it that way. And then, I guess I can turn you on. Nine. Don't really need this built. I don't. We'll just lay them out. Gonna go there and there. <clears throat> For whatever happens in this area later. So none of this is really prioritized, right? No. In fact, that one doesn't need to be either. So I'll take you down to a five. Okay, what is prioritized? Glad I kind of checked down there. Anyway, we do need algae. And there's a lot of it down in here. And I need to be able to dump this water into a basin. And then dump this water into here, which is going to dump into a basin. So, yeah, I've got to store all that water while I'm still kind of finishing up walls down in here. These guys are set to nines, but a whole bunch of other stuff is right now too, so we'll get to that one soon. That's not uh, too big of a problem here. In fact, we're kind of working on it now. We're sweeping these out of here. I want to save the metal and what have you before this happens. Okay. Um, so, in stages. This isn't going to happen for a while. I've got water. i got two pools of water to deal with so I want to take out the beginning of this and I need metal so may as well take out all of this gold through here and there's a bunch of algae right over there so take all this out let me see the priorities again on that I get up the side of that I did not let's five this one so that I can nine this one okay so they'll work their way through digging is the last thing they're gonna do so they're gonna go through and do any construction that's first so I've tried to keep as little construction as possible. There's this. And let's get down into here. So what's going to happen down here? Um, construction, though, is really just this wall. Instead of trying to build that area, move all the water before I could move it, dig all of this out, and then get up and build that stuff that we had designed last time, I decided it just wasn't worth it. In fact, let's use the water. I got to thinking, we're hurting here. We're going to need some water soon. This is going to take a while to build, and it's iffy, and we have to cool it. So what we could do is bypass the cooling right now and just filter out some polluted water and get it dumped directly in. So I think that's the plan. In fact, let's put in on purpose a let's see, plumbing, pipes, and it'll, it'll be in, uh, just a five for the moment. But let's bypass and do that and we will cancel liquid pipes that guy and that guy all right we'll chill this stuff some other time but for now we just need to get some water being made which is made by these guys just like the one we had right over here taking the pluto water and making clean water out of it 
So <clears throat> the thought is how best to see that there. Yeah. So we'll pump it out and split it three ways into these guys, out of these guys, and up. And actually we'll probably cut, pull out of there. Cut you out as well. Cancel. All right. No confusion now. It goes right up and in. All right. So to power this guy, though, <clears throat> we we can't keep tapping our existing power up here. It's just it's not going to happen. What is going on up here? Here I'm talking, and we've got a crisis going on. We're still not making oxygen. Okay, we have power. We have power. We have algae. Are these guys not nines? They're not nines. Even though I have... Yeah. Whenever I take everything down to sevens and eights, they just don't get done. Because I've queued up a lot of construction. Well, just little bits, though. But still, it takes enough time to do just this one wall, which they haven't even gotten to yet, to never get back to doing this stuff. So I've got to keep the most important ones <clears throat> at the same level as the construction so they're doing the two groups simultaneously so yeah we're hurting here we've got to this is where we left last time we're hurting for it and it didn't get fixed so will it get fixed now i don't know let's go back to priorities and kind of think about this while we're doing it hopefully we'll see someone actually bring algae to one of these but um all of the were eights through quite a bit which is why these weren't working because they were competing with all the eights but a lot of the eights are not um things that are done every day you know the harvest is every few cycles so you know we hit one day and we'll do all the harvest and then they're they're good for another however long they will have to come in and do some fertilizing but uh, that's about it um so really the only thing that's that means anything here is the algae uh you know these guys here and then any of the terrariums we're using which aren't that many either there's two down here there's one at the entrance here and i think that's it <clears throat> when there's enough oxygen pressure up in here it pushes all the carbon dioxide down so we don't really need to run them up in here once we start building up some pressure and with that it ran out again Awaiting delivery. That was running a second ago. Hmm. 81. <clears throat> Who's going to get it? Sand's being delivered. Here. Eddie's, or Ebony's got it. Right? Well, don't know. That looks like like algae, but it won't actually say. Nope, someone else got some over there, too. Okay. But power... <laughs> I gotta go potty! <laughs> anyway, we're finally getting back to this one. Uh, uh, stresses I've got a few that are 20 and above but we're not bad not bad all right let's let's see this one there we go thank you Icus. all right well we still have a power leg to get into there but placebo somehow it seems to fix everything um, half the speed but cures all diseases a herbal gut remedy heal speed for diarrhea plus 50 percent but it takes some sand and it takes some algae to create this one just takes water and sand this one takes algae and sand okay um we don't have the algae to spend on it right now though once we get to working on some of the things i'm about to show you we'll have lots of algae so I'm going to queue up one. Let's queue up, actually, three of these ahead of time and one real one. Okay. That is... We'll set that as a nine. It's only going to be used for the four times and it'll be done. That's not a problem. Uh, we do want food to never be left out here. It's too warm in this, this, uh, this colony and it will rot within a day or so. So they'll eat a certain amount usually at their table you usually find these blossoms or half-eaten uh, uh, meal loaf lice loaf at their tables and then it'll uh, you know she'll eat most of it and for some reason get interrupted and half of it will drop there so that's kind of what's happening there but we're still making oxygen 
not any more oxygen or algae is down okay and that is a problem so what I did over here and maybe we're going to modify something here I <clears throat> didn't put the pipes in coming out of these two because they were in the way but if they can come out and just dig right through here this is all algae so they get a whole bunch out of here and they get a bunch out of that other side so in that case let's seven this run here there wasn't really much in the way of, of algae in there let's concentrate on digging that one let's concentrate on digging this one full of algae Otherwise, for nines, uh, five U, for nines that aren't maintenance sort of things, we've got these two right there. We've got a new, oh, are you already in? You're in. All right. Um, I'm not going to turn you on yet. Let's wait till we get our oxygen under control. And this guy right here, I want to get him built. So, and a little bit here to get some ventilation going there. And I want, I took out the uh, the vase that I was going to put over here for the wheeze wart. I'm going to put the wheeze wart in over here instead. So, we're going to chill from this point. We took out the upper bedroom. That's something else that I did between episodes. We were just getting too close to this. It, it was too iffy. So I took that one out and made a hallway out of it. So we're basically going to repeat what we have up here. So we need to get a little bit of venting so that when the oxygen does start pushing up into here again, it's going to push all this uh, polluted oxygen out the vents and or it'll be uh, cleaned up right here. You need to also receive some sand because we got to get that cleaned up. All right, so <clears throat> just looking to see what's happening. We're hurting for air. We're running out of air just running around our own base. We desperately need you guys to do some digging. So how do we do that? I would say we're going to go to something extreme here. We're going to turn off power. Where are you? Right there. Nobody can power anymore. What else? Stress is not that bad. <clears throat> we're turning off massage. They're not going to be running these four. They're not going to be riding the four massage beds. So there's up to eight more workers to get out down and do some digging so let's see what that does are there any other jobs that could be turned off i mean we could shut down deliver which is going to send which is what's going to send the algae to this that's no good but and we're doing the harvesting right now food how are we on food <clears throat> Just looking at all this. These are about to pop. Yeah, they're popping right there. Um, food. 33,000 cows, kilocals of bristle and of lice loaf. All right, we're going to shut down harvest. There's nothing else here that we're doing a whole bunch of. Well, we could shut down build. We could shut down build too. Let's do that. We're not going to get this built, but we are going to get all the digging done now. So let's see if that's happening. We've got a dig job up here, and we've got a big dig job down here. And down here, where we can find at least polluted oxygen, we've got how much pressure? Well, we're not into this one. Right here, there's 1,300 breathable gas down here. So if we can get them down here, they'll stay. They'll be, uh, you know, th there's some good air down here. <clears throat> In fact, if we, well, I can't because this thing's here. That's just it. I had to delete these pipes to get this pathway through because in order to dig it, they would be compelled to also build the pipes. So I can't take him out to let this air, uh, what's in there? Now oxygen is only 5.1. Never mind. Down here, 
Polluted oxygen is 49, so there's not much in here. In fact, it'll actually harm us. We can get through into this. We've got a thousand grams of, of oxygen waiting for us. These are here as, as a reminder to me that that's what's going to go on this. So what I, I don't know if I've got a chance to finish my sentence. Um, I don't want to tap power up above to run all of this. We just can't do it anymore. But we can. And are you going to be breathing here? I believe you are. We should see that increase. Yeah. Don't just do one. What is so important to you? Delivering. Okay. Let's shut down the delivering too. The rest of the day, at least until we get to see jobs, until we get some more algae. Yeah, we don't have any yet. Let's shut down the delivering too. You guys have got to do some digging. Delivering right there. So just digging, no more sweeping, mopping, repairing. There's nothing to repair, but not doing the hydrofan. We're not doing any more research. Um, okay, we'll shut down composting. We'll shut down cooking. All right. You guys are diggers for the next half of your day. Go and dig this stuff out. Dig into there. Tap some good uh, pressure. Uh, over here is not good pressure. But that'll be fine. We'll make pressure with the algae that we're going to dig out of there. All right. Now we're doing the digging. There's just so much delivering and maintenance to do that they just can't get anything else done. I need 20 dupes so that 10 can do the maintenance and 10 can do the work. But I can't feed and breathe 20 dupes. Okay. Um, so let me try for the third time to finish my sentence down here. I don't want to tap power up above, so I want to go ahead and get coal going down here. So coal and probably two or three of these to clean up the... the carbon dioxide and a battery or two down in here to to uh, cool them down or to, to store it and I was just thinking this right here might flow across which might cool it down we'll have to wait and see all right so with that we have someone toggling idle pause it is Alexander because he's bouncing in and out of the shower okay empty Okay, what do we got going on here? Why is this shower not functioning? What is it that I'm missing here? So, shower. The middle one there with the box. Using water, emitting polluted, heat produced, in use. Shower not pumping. What does that mean? Why is this not pumping? <clears throat> In use. Not pumping. Any ideas, let me know. Because I don't have a clue what to do after this. Plumbing, the shower. Requires a thousand grams per second. It was taking in 333 grams a second. All right. This guy is set to almost a thousand. Let's take it up to a thousand. There's no chance that it's shortchanging all these little globules, which are turning into 10,000 anyway. That's just it. Out of this one is pumping, where is it? Liquid pipe, 10 kilograms. 10,000 grams are moving across here. 10,000 grams are stacked up into here. Where is it? Liquid pipe, 10 kg of water. Yeah. So, there's no way there's not enough water there. Do I need to delete the shower and rebuild it? Is that a thing? We could try that. It's not working anyway. So, let's deconstruct you and just see what happens. Otherwise, you Alexander doesn't dig? Is that what it is? Alexander, you do not dig. Aha. We can get you delivering. And building, and sweeping, and harvesting, and running power, and composting, and massaging. Alexander, you need it badly. All right, enjoy. Okay. Anyway, we do have algae. Ah, okay. So with that, well, tell you what, let's give it just... 
Now, let's do this. Let's let a few people start delivering. So, the ones that are the darkest, I believe, means athletics is the highest. Oh, that's like all of them. <laughs> Deliver. We'll go with that. Okay. So, some of you can start grabbing all of this algae and start hauling it in. But there's a bunch of oxygen just dumped back into the base. That's good stuff. Once all this is done, we can build this floor, which will give us even more algae. Then we can dig down underneath and take even more algae. But for now, let's grab all of this that we can. Soon, we're going to get ourselves trapped. Guys, quit being duped. Pri prioritize. Why are those not nines? They are nines. What am I missing? You got any ideas? That didn't make any sense to me. Those are nines. And they're not being dug. What, they'll deconstruct something out from underneath themselves so they won't dig from underneath themselves? Is that a thing? Um, cancel you two. Cancel all you two. And dig. Nine. You two. Now we'll do it. But you were broken before. Interesting. Well, we've got what I wanted to here. And we're going to dribble out right there. Interesting. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, did we get done what we needed to up here? Yes, we did. Now, do I want to get any more of this? I don't dare go too deep into here, though I can probably grab this guy. Oh, he already is marked. Okay. You are going to dig. Ebony, going to take care of that one? Yeah, she's got it. So, this one could go away just to clean it up. But otherwise, I would say let's grab... Um, what do I want here? Prioritize. Nine. There. Now, again, leaving a way out, we can go down two. We can go down two more. And that will get us out. So I should be able to do all of this, except cancel these two. No, don't cancel. Uh, prioritize five. These two. And we'll do that one, too. Okay, we'll leave a floor. They can get to all these, and hopefully that one. And be able to get back out again. Let me see it again. All right, we've got a path out, yeah. So let's get this group done, and then we're going to have them... Well, some of them are already delivering, right? Just don't know what they're delivering to. And we need to run power. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to turn power back on to some of them. Um, boy. Then they're not going to dig anymore. Yeah. Um, this is a balancing game. It really is. A little frustrating, too. I mean, there's, there's so much micromanaging. Unless I'm just doing it really, really wrong. Um, I want to get somebody running power. Somebody who is not digging. Well, tell you what. Let's take this group right here. So power is here. These guys right there can run power. Okay. That leaves still a few that are on dig. Pretty much only. And a few that are on deliver only. And then later, once we get, uh, well, really once we just get this done, if they will do it. Ebony's going to dive in and, and uh, be a trooper. Even though she's still looking like she's not very happy. <laughs> All right, here comes Handy. Going to head down there and, and uh, complete. Oh, we've got uh, two more. Great. Thomas Lava Murphy. You guys know Murphy already gave up. He's, he wants to go eat. <laughs> but let's punch through all of this. Clean this all up. Get us some more metal. And a whole bunch of algae sitting right here. Hopefully you guys can still get to that one. Let's make this one an eight. If we can stand on that, you can most likely get to that one. All right. Make you a nine. Ah, you took it. Okay. You're a nine, and you're leaving. 
So with that, well, all right, let's let Mountain Dew come on over and, and catch this last one. Right? Or are you going to grab algae? You might be on deliver mode. Otherwise, we've got to spend the rest of the day doing nothing but getting that oxygen going. And there it is. So Mountain Dewver, thank you very much. And with that, oh, there we are. Everybody back to work. Everybody's on dig. Everyone's on deliver. Everyone's on build. Everyone's on sweep. Harvest. Repair. Power. Compost. And massage. And cook, I'm just leaving for these three here. They're the best at it. They'll do it the quickest. All right. With that, hopefully, we're going to find four jumping on the wheels. There they go. Someone's already delivered to these two. Ah, that's the way it's supposed to work. And we need Ebony, Nettie, Natalia. Ja we need everybody on, on massage beds. <laughs> but that means through the night, we should have oxygen continuing to be made. Not necessarily. This side will. So this one will. Assuming that, oh, that we have enough algae in here. This doesn't give you, oh, contents. There we are, 53. 52. Kind of one a second, one every second and a half. So, it'd be nice if we could do one more delivery. Don't know if they will deliver as it gets low. They might. I think I've seen them do that before. All right, any food that needs to be put away before it sits out all night. Let's sweep that one and these guys. And that one. Nope. Not you, though. All right. No food rotting. You are a placebo. And we've got 3,200 algae. So we're good on algae for a while. That's good to see. I can go ahead and reset these. Let's do that. I'll give us something to do here. We can reset all this. Um, so they're they're in bed. No, they're going to be heading to bed soon. But they should all be safe up there. And we still have plenty of food going on, right? Plenty of food. All right, so I can ignore them for a while, and nothing more is going to go terribly wrong. Um, cancel all of these, because I need those resources to build with. We want... Is there any reason to not use regular floor tiles here? I don't think so. There should be no more sources of uh, polluted water. It's all going to be below us from here on out. Okay. So let's go in with, since we don't have any uh, natural gas to create power that way, let's go in with a coal generator over here. Cold because you're walking through water. So that's going to stress them out even more. Uh, we want to... How best? Hmm. To place batteries in here. I guess there's no real hope of cooling them. It's, this water level is going to drop before we even get them built. So let's just set them in. How many? It'd be nice to use this coal to power something else but creating another high wattage loop out of this end is not going to be uh, uh, possible. It's just too little metal to pull it off. Uh, let's clean up the air over here. That is oxygen, and that's going to be this guy. For carbon dioxide, yeah. There will also be polluted oxygen up in here. Hmm. Let's put this here. It'll clean up this area, and let's put this one... What's what's the rate? Let's look at this. Let's look at the numbers. This is going to suck in 333 milligrams. Ooh, milligrams. Okay. It'd be so much easier to me if they just say 0.3 grams. That's Then I can keep it in my head. 0.3 grams are being sucked in while power coal 20 grams are being produced. Wow. Am I doing the math right? Does that mean 
60 of these guys to clean up the, car the carbon dioxide that's going to come out of this guy. That seems really, really excessive. It does. Let's put at least two of them out over here then. You can walk under this, right through there, to go back and forth. Let's put a second one right above it. And right there. Okay, we'll probably end up putting another one out over here. Like so. Like it's kind of what I built this little ledge for. We'll be setting something out here. And then plumbing. Let's see, where am I plumbing? These guys are all going to pop up and over and connect. And now we're draining out and going up to there. All right, power. These guys will all be connected together and they will be powered by this guy, which is going to store right over there. So we've got, let me think about this. All we're doing, oh, we're doing a pump as well. Like so. So we are... Pull out of there. What is that? Refinement? Yeah. No. Right there. You are... 120. 240. 360. The pump? Where are you at? Oh, right there. 240. So 360. 560. 600. Alright. Should be 600 watts in there. Oh! And this guy's going to make 600. He makes 600. All right. The wires can handle 1,000. But we're going to be pretty much self-sustained here. Except we're going to need something to get it started. Yeah. Which will be right here. Uh, let me think about that. This is going to be so polluted, they're not going to be able to breathe. Their only chance of being able to breathe is going to be over here, and even this is pretty rough. Um, oh, they got to go through a lot of muck here. Okay, let's do something here. You are going to go away. Well, you guys can keep running. Uh, cancel build. Let's put two of these guys in. Mesh tile right there. And it's through it and out of gold. It really probably doesn't matter right now. Um, let's put in one of these guys here and let's put in a a squirrel cage. Manual generator. Generator right there. And power right there. Okay. This will give it power enough. Actually, what am I thinking of? They're just going to add coal to this. Well, we'll still have a backup. We run out of coal, we still have the ability to get some water filtering. Something like that. What does this guy make? He makes 400. So we would have to turn a couple of these off and just get one of them going. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. So that's built. All the pipes are in. We're not going to get anything out of here but clean water. And that's got to happen soon. As soon as this place becomes a little more livable. So this would be nice to get done. So let's uh, priority nine. At least that right there. <sighs> oh, the pause, the delay. There we go. And go back to fives on all the rest of these. All right. So need to get that guy built. So what are these guys willing to do now? when we're back to maintaining the place. We still don't even have any uh, any uh, algae being made over here. That's not been done. They're doing nothing but... Oh, they're de-stressing. Okay. Yeah, there's been a few times between episodes where I would end it and then I would set out to try to get something accomplished so that I would have something different to show the next episode. But in the process of doing that, I would stress them out so badly trying to get things done that I would have to take a, a couple of days to do nothing but. I gotta get you guys up there. This is our one of our big sources of pollution. Um, nothing but de stressing. And once that's finally done, then they get to work again. And so, Mountain Dew. 
What is with you? Holding breath. You are... He was walking through here and leaving a cloud of green behind him. I remember him being flatulent. But I was worried that maybe he'd caught some kind of a of a disease that does that. No, he, he was... He just let off a toot, that's all. Okay. And they couldn't tell the difference. Normally, they all stop and go, Ew! But, you know, the whole place right now is a toot. So, yeah. Doesn't matter. we got to get these guys going. There's no way around that. We've got to stop the... Uh... That was interesting. He had to get some oxygen. But we've got these guys going. This is where a lot of this is coming from. It's coming up from up here. Or down here. So once we get this clean up and effectively end the process, let's do the same down... Did I not? I did not. Okay. We should probably get another one. One of each. Probably one of each. Down here. Could get him going right now. Let's do that. Rather than pop one in like at this level. Let's say... Guys, come on and do this. Which means... Well, that, that'll dig because it's part of this. Alright. So that's going to get done. And another one of these down here would be important to pull out the more of the polluted. We'll put them right there. Yeah. Make out of this, make you nine more of the polluted oxygen. Clean that up. And so we'll have real clean oxygen rolling up through here. Uh, temporarily, let's fire this guy up and get him filled and running. That'll help out down here. This guy, let's fire him up. Again, we're going back to nines to get all these working, but that's pretty much what I've got to do until I get everything back into an equilibrium again, and then I can start tapering them back down. Otherwise, there wasn't one more. He's right there. Okay, that's helping to clean this area up. Bedrooms are pretty polluted. They're going to head up to the top. It's time to enable to get him going again. We're not too bad over here. As long as we have this one going, and it is. And then it, would help, it wouldn't hurt to have this one going, too. All right. I would love to get more algae being made, but let's go ahead and cook through some of this and have one, two less nines in there. I took out the... That's something else I did, the fertilizer makers, to stop making uh, natural gas. We're, we're just not going to be able to, to deal with this here, I, I don't think. That's another void somewhere else. If I'm wrong, I'll put it back in, but I really needed the metal and and uh, it just wasn't working. So, somewhere else we'll do that. Yeah. Anyway, what have I? Something like 40-some minutes? Yeah, I think so. Is there much more to accomplish right now? Basically just showing you what's going to be done, but I could sit here for another three or four hours before I actually see it done. That's what I've that's what I've been doing in between episodes. Just sitting here running at it probably two speed where I can until things get out of balance and go back to one and, and think about things. But I'm putting an awful lot of time into this series. I'm what have we got here? Thirty two hours into the series. And I'm putting in the amount of time that I would normally be putting into uh, running like three series, three series simultaneously. You know, I could be doing RimWorld and and this if I didn't have time in between episodes and still have time for another one. So my whole evenings are being wiped out by this series. So I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to continue this one. It's fun, but I just don't have four hours a day anymore. You know, during the summertime I've, when my business is, is busy and when I've got uh, construction and, and projects going on here at home. So I might do two or three more of these, hopefully to see this system up and running and the system over here up and running. So we can see how the mechanical aspect of it works. And you know, we'll eventually duct it down, get across here somewhere, run ducts through all of these walls and a vent dropping into probably this middle space at each bedroom and bring fresh uh, fresh oxygen into the place so and then probably one dumping into into here to give us positive pressure to push out and one probably in here as well and and another one out over here or something kind of use it as an airlock but yeah the game is a lot of fun but it's 
it is a huge time sink. And I'm used to games where every minute that I play can be recorded and done. But there is just so much time spent in this game watering the algae terrariums to keep them running. To, and, and the food doesn't last long enough to me. So they spend so much time harvesting and making food so that, you know, seven of my eleven are, are never available to do anything but just maintaining the base. And that gets a little frustrating. I can't go more dupes because I will run out of supplies if I do that. So, anyway, this has been Noble Rambler. Leave me your thoughts, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.